Come now to question 14. The Deputy Higgins will ask for the Minister for Health and Social Services. Deputy Higgins. Thank you, sir. Given that there are currently 12 presumptive deaths among the 24 people reported to have died from COVID-19 in Jersey, will the Minister advise members what steps, if any, are being taken to determine conclusively okay, the cause of death of these 12 presumptive victims? And furthermore, to ensure that in future, any deaths from COVID-19 are accurately and conclusively determined. Minister. Sir, I believe this question may be based on a misunderstanding of the certification of probable COVID-19. That is a legitimate and determinative cause of death in itself, being based on other diagnostic tools or methods other than a positive COVID laboratory test. In line with UK standard guidelines concerning policies on death certification of COVID-19, a doctor can certify COVID-19 based either on a positive laboratory test or based on symptoms, clinical examination and investigations, such as the chest X-ray, uh, and that diagnosis would be probable COVID-19. In certifying a cause of death, a doctor is required to provide a legal declaration that they have diagnosed the causes of death to the best of their knowledge and belief. Thank you, sir. Uh, supplementary, Deputy Higgins. Yes, thank you, sir. Um, the Minister has given an explanation there, but can he tell us uh, in the 12 cases uh, where people are presumed to have died, were their bodies examined? Has there been a post-mortem on those people to determine definitely the cause of death rather than the suspicion that it's COVID-19 because of certain of the factors um, which also relate to flu in many cases, um, which were diagnosed beforehand? Sir, I can confirm that uh, all bodies were examined by doctors as that is a requirement of our death certification process. That is a legal requirement. Uh, some may have been subject to post-mortem, but not all of them would have been. Uh, the deputy has spoken about suspicion. Uh, that is the wrong word to use, sir. This is uh, based on, as I've said, symptoms, clinical examination and investigation and the doctor certifies from the knowledge of the medical history of the deceased that that the probable COVID-19 uh, is uh, a cause of death to the best of that doctor's knowledge and belief. Uh, 